Welcome, Welcome to, to Cinequest Video. Video. Okay, um, yeah. hello everyone and welcome to Cinequest episode number 16. The call. It's a filler mm, episode. Filler. Uh, that's what it's going to be called. Filler video. There you go. Um, on this episode, we're going to be... Filler quest. Filler quest. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'll call it. <laughs> Cinequest video, <laughs> episode 16, filler quest. Um, on this episode, we're going to be talking about movie, like just general uh, upcoming movies that we might be able to or might want to actually uh, check out in the future. Um, with the extensive list that I have of the movies that I want to see coming out, I doubt Roland would want to see even no. a partial version of any mm. of this. I looked at it. I mean, it was a good list for me to not participate in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there, 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 there are some movies I missed. Don't get me wrong. You had a few I mean, good ones in there. So. Um... I think you covered. I just had one at the end that I, I want to cover. Oh. Yeah, we will do that. <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot that is coming out this year, right? Uh, what? I believe it is this year. Yeah. Rambo: Last Blood. <laughs> Rambo: Last Blood. Uh, what is uh is um Jane Silent Bob or Home Alone Five? <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Jane Silent Bob's or Joe Pesci's sequel, Revenge? Uh, the, the the double strike coming back or coming out this year or is it next? Uh, that's probably gonna be oh, next year. Oh, I'm not soon. sure. I haven't like, seen that have a release date at all. So. Really quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, surprise. <laughs> what the fuck could they have really to? Okay, um, I mean, uh, there's more to tell about that tale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any information <laughs> other than the actual title of the movie. So I mean, we're just I'm just gonna the next, wing this. The next much. Bill and Ted movie. Um, I'll give a quick uh, rundown of the movies I have seen starting in January. Uh, Roland and I did go see Glass. Oh, God. Yeah. We'll give... Um, I mean, I fell asleep twice. And yeah, Roland I was had to laughing me awake at that. The whole time. I was laughing at that because I didn't notice until I heard you snoring. Yeah. Was that <laughs> I was like, yeah. You were, <laughs> really? I was like, yeah, I looked at... Oh, the, shit. I, I think it was mind. the second time where I was like, really, dude? Yeah, you, you did not. I, this was well, your fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like. I mean, I was interested in the movie. Like, it turned out to be a huge, like a semi disappointment, like a half chub at best. But uh, I was very surprised. Like, I, that. I mean, not very, but it was funny that you fell asleep not once but well, twice. Well, I fell asleep for a certain reason. And I won't get into that right mm -hmm. now, as to why I fell asleep. Because the movie wasn't that good. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I did enjoy it a little bit when I was awake, but <laughs> you did have to nudge me. Yeah. To I mean, I was like, and, hey, man, you paid for this. Um, Let's just say that there's pre gaming, so. Yeah, that was pre gaming. Oh, Let's yeah. just say that, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. I did see a documentary called Rumble, but that was on Prime. Uh -huh. And that was about the Native American influence on rock and roll. So that was pretty cool. Um, I did see The I Prodigy, which I completely forgot about, which is about a kid who's, like, possessed by some murderer, yeah. and he ends up, like, pretty much... It was almost like Child's Play, but without the doll. It's just with a kid, you know? Um, me and Roland went to go see Captain Marvel. Yeah, that was another... It was just, like... It was mostly, like, just nostalgia f fun, but past that, just... Yeah, like a bunch of mediocre fucking. You know, uh, the best part was was Stan Lee's cameo in there. I'd have to and True, and, yeah. uh, and um, Samuel Jackson's character Nick Fury was fun to watch. I fucking saw it a mile away though. How they were gonna like play it as a joke? How he loses his eye? Like yeah, the fucking cat's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank the you. The cat was the best part of that movie. Like uh, it's, that Next works for me. Spoilers. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna go fuck up with that movie. No. <laughs> Yeah, I, I take it you haven't seen it, Daniel. It's by no means a bad movie, no, but it, like it was still just one of those meh, you know, like really this is the face of like uh, like female superheroes in the MCU. Like it was supposed they they hyped it up so so much, and like I can appreciate that, but at the same time I was like, but it really wasn't that interesting. <laughs> It was like See, watching like the second Thor movie. For me, the movies, because it's like a five mile walk round trip. Uber. Shit. So I really gotta go see that bullshit. And you really gotta, you really that. gotta want it. Yeah. Even like Avengers Endgame was kind of like. Yeah, yeah like, same, same. I'll go. Same, but. like I was, I was only slightly <laughs> surprised that it was a bit more about Ant Man than I expected, but like that was pretty much everything that I. I 
I was like, I knew they're going to do some bullshit with this. I just didn't think it was going to be the whole story. Like, because without him, they wouldn't have had a fucking sequel. Like, really, guys? That's it. All right, whatever. Uh, um, well, I guess the next movie I, I did go see after that was Us, which is the Jordan Peele movie. Yeah. Um, I did go see Get Out in the theaters, and I enjoyed that. Us, not as good as oh, Get really? Out. Um, I thought it was as good or the, no the ish. movie the movie itself started off pretty well but then um, I feel like they started they initially started making this uh, type of movie with almost some kind of a um, I'll say supernatural paranormal kind of a inst- instance where the shadows come alive and like try to take over the shadow knows yeah <laughs> yeah but um he knows that there's like, bullshit i feel like they started making a movie and then at some point they didn't know how to resolve it so they just went a different direction mm. towards the end uh but that requires more discussion than um just going over it um i did see the remake of pet cemetery mm. cemetery yeah, yeah. yeah i know was that worth the fuck by the way like, no don't don't bother i mean you can you can watch it if like it's you're you're taking so, a shit and you're gonna like pass through it but, i think like, i saw it's, it's, it's really not necessary to go i saw a reddit the post movie. that apparently the the like the cat from that movie is already dead yeah it is <laughs> Like, that was his, <laughs> that it, was his it, mark it on its, this world. It had its 15 minutes. So Shit out, it's, Pet Cemetery. It's, it's done now. And then that was it. His life, the cat's life was was complete. I did see after that. All I saw nine lives in a all flash. nine lives right, fucking yeah. gone. All that to be was in a movie, and there you go, spent. I saw La Llorona. Oh, you mean La Llorona? I like your spelling on the doc. By La Llorona. Yeah. La Llorona. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, La Lorna. Uh, I I had heard some other podcasts talk about it, and whenever they mention the movie, they say La Lorna. Oh gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> I saw the bu- like a BuzzFeed video about uh, about it right before it released, and uh, I was like, oh cool, you visited a park that was named after her. And that's it. What you fucking know. park is named after La Llorona? Uh, some fucking bumfuck middle of nowhere uh, like place in it was it Arizona or New Mexico or I forget. But it was just like really guys. The I mean, Valley. <laughs> nah. San Benito. No, they, they take it seriously here. There's no way. Like, San Benito. Uh-uh. Um, after that, I saw Avengers Endgame. Right. Obviously. Yeah. Saw it twice. Yeah. Um, so far, Avengers Endgame. Your first and last time, same occasion, or yeah, no. no, no, the no. bitch went on its own <sighs> when it with like the first week of, and then was trying to be super sneaky and shit, not telling anybody. Like anyone with a half a brain couldn't have guessed this motherfucker went on his own. No, I only didn't tell you when we did eh, <laughs> Eat a dick. I, I, I wasn't surprised by your bullshit at all. I mean, so far. Uh, 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 was it Pet Cemetery and La Llorona are you're like the, the lowest the rated Mr. movies Magoo that I've given? Ninjas. What? So far, the Pet Cemetery and La Llorona were like the lowest rated movies. I was kind of underwhelmed yeah. by both those movies. I um, mean, what Stephen King movie hasn't really been underwhelming? You watch your fucking movie. <laughs> hey, um, Salem, Salem's Lot is really good. I've never sat through all of it. I've mm. only just like, I, I think I saw a part of it and then I changed the channel. I mean, so the like, original Pet Cemetery is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It. Uh, it. Okay. It. You got one? I still haven't um, watched the remake. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait uh, until the second one drops to watch them both at the same time. Probably. Maybe. Uh, Daniel, you did watch Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I mean, as far as like the list is concerned that I've gone through, Avengers Endgame is probably the only movie we've seen so far. I was far, glad right? that the pacing oh, yeah, for yeah, Avengers I, Endgame I wasn't as slow as the first one. <laughs> so that was like, oh, cool. Well, I'm not... I get out because I go to work and I go to the bar. <laughs> yeah. Man. The so, bar. <laughs> you know, I, I'd be honest with you. I wish I had like a, like a real bar I could actually frequent, but there isn't have, one. No, there really isn't anything like that here. Um, You're just getting some like cheers like vibe too, though, because like there's too many people that know who I am there. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I want, though. That's what, exactly what I want. I want Aww. I want to walk into the fucking bar and they go, Ray! No. Hey, I want, I want to be the normal It's 40 hands. Oh, Ray! <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I think Jamie's nah, kind just, of... You know, hey, Dan. Mm-hmm. What's up, Dan? Mm-hmm. I think Jamie's kind of um, gotten that reputation at Roosevelt at 7. Eh. Yeah, I mean, he goes there pretty often, so... Yeah. Um, I did see The Professor on Prime, so, I mean, not necessarily something you have to go to the movies for... But uh, so I didn't uh, you know, check out the trailer for that. But like, what the fuck is that even about? The professor. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, no pro- idea. the professor is a, it's a Johnny Depp movie. Basically, he he's a professor at a university. He finds out he, gets, he has cancer and he has like maybe six months to live, probably without um, chemo or like uh, treatment. And maybe if he's going to go on with the treatment, maybe a year. And that's just like max. And basically, he has kind of like a failing marriage and... Uh, um, do you remember? Did you ever watch this one? I, I don't. And I only have like a picture in my head. I don't remember shit about it now that I think about it. Uh, it was. It was like called Doctor Wood or some shit where he plays. No, I don't. He plays like a. I thought he played like a nutty <clears throat> professor kind of. It was Ooh, a Johnny it Depp. Was a, yeah, it was like a black <laughs> and white. Uh, Wait, wasn't that Ed Wood? Ed Wood. Because thank you. Ed Wood. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's a completely different movie. Is, well, I mean, so there's nothing related or whatever. No, I just remember com- seeing a picture of that motherfucker in like a white or lab coat or something. Was that yeah. Was known for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And like uh, Glenda, where he plays like a transgendered person or something. He plays both characters in a movie that he made. And uh, I think he also did that movie, Plan 9, where Bella Lugosi was like his last movie. The guy played Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. He, he's like a professor. He has cancer, and basically, it kind of goes through that whole thing. Uh, my mom and I watched it, and it's actually a pretty good movie. Like, I was actually surprised. Not a Johnny Depp's, like, normal bullshit character, but, I mean, like, he's well, playing I mean, fairly he's normal been, person. He's, like, he's being cut out of everything, right? And they, they, like, kicked him from, the next from like, Pirates, so the Car- Caribbean. Yeah. Or <laughs> did, they, did they really? Oh, yeah. They're going to reboot that whole shit now or something yeah, like yeah. that. So now there's, like, a band petition. And uh, to try I'll, to get Johnny Depp into Pirate Six. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah. really? Yeah, like his skeleton or yeah, some shit. Yeah, it's, I just saw that. Today <laughs> he's, gonna, on the internet. he's gonna voice a he's gonna voice a parrot or some shit. His um, skeleton. <laughs> um, what? Uh, Do you have some rum? Uh, I I mean I thought they were gonna kick him out of the the fucking Harry Potter series or whatever. I still haven't watched the second. Uh, oh shit, he isn't the Harry Potter, right? of Grindle World or whatever. Well, I haven't seen I thought, that. Either. I thought I read something where it was like he didn't want to do it or something like that. <laughs> really? But he needs something to feed his wine addiction or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't How about the millions of booze. dollars he's got? Right, but apparently the motherfucker spends so much that it doesn't matter. Like, he's fucking losing it. Um, What was it? Uh... I imagine they're going to... I mean, he's not going to have anything to do with... Because apparently there's going to be more Harry Potter book movies or whatever the hell going on or some shit. Recently, they... they Can't like, wait. Yeah, they, well, they, they I, announced I, like another four They might actually like go and shit. do like the Cursed Child, which is basically like, just like 19, 20 years after uh, the original Harry Potter series mm-hmm. went through. So, I mean... Oh, after? It's not, yeah, not it's after. No, fucking that's not before. Prequel. No, no, God, that's not before. I hate that shit so much. Like, it uh, just the, annoys um, the fuck out of me. The crimes of whatever and the crimes that of who other gives a shit. blah blah blah. The so. crimes of the guy that bleached his hair. Roland, if you were fucking like ten, <laughs> ten years ago, you would have been all over this shit. Ten years ago, I was a fucking asshole. Now I'm just a you moron. Were, you were reading all that Harry Potter stuff like religiously. Religiously? Yeah. Eh, that's a stretch. I read it because it was there. Like in the same mm, way, I, mm. I didn't buy any of those books. They were gifts. Like okay, for sure, I'll fart through this. I mean, you know, like I take long shits. That'd be that'd be something to keep me busy, and and it's over. Yep. <laughs> so the professor, I saw that, and um, I saw on also on Prime uh, Lords of Chaos. Mm-hmm. If you all are aware, it's, it sounds um, like a metal. It's band. basically a movie about the band Mayhem. Oh fuck! Um, okay, the, the Norwegian <laughs> black metal. Does it end with them all killing themselves or whatever? Close. <laughs> Um, if any of you have, there, there's a book that's called, came out called The Lords of Chaos. Basically, it documents uh, the beginning and like the end of the whole uh, mayhem debacle. Basically, there's a guy named Euronymous who's who Hieronymous. apparently, who apparently uh, invented Norwegian black metal. Mm. And Did he know? there's another guy that come into I count something. Uh, they do a lot of church burnings. In, Nor- in Norway. Oh, yeah, that's and, right. Um, was, it was a fad. And one of the guys actually kills Euronymous hmm. uh, because they're always trying to, like, one-up the whole uh, who's more metal than the other right, person. Right, yes. I am darker than you. Yeah, there's a there's a scenario where, like, this happened in real life. Um, I forget the name of the lead singer. He actually blows his head off yeah. uh, with a shotgun. Some and then, like, like uh, Euronymous goes in and, Fuck. like takes pictures of him yeah, and like positions the shotgun and all that and they use that as the, album, the cover. album cover yeah <laughs> it's 
fucking silly. Um, but uh, this I mean, it's so metal. Uh, there was a documentary called uh, "If the Life Like." Light Takes Us, which is a pretty good documentary if you want to get like uh, into that whole uh, thing. It's an interesting story, but uh, this movie is kind of like is that based black, on black metal or doom metal? It's black metal <laughs> or, or, like or true Norwegian black metal, Finnish metal. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, right. basically, uh, the story is kind of like uh, a, there's a bit of truth and a bit of lies because they exaggerate and they they mentioned that in the very beginning of the movie. The story is based on truth and lies. So, like, it kind of exaggerates the, the whole uh, thing where the whole uh, Emo metal crime heads. thing. But uh, basically, it ends up with, like, a, like a few people us. dying, too. Oh, no, they're just fucking... They're, they're almost like rich kids <laughs> yeah. in, like, a suburbia. Yeah. Like, trying to be... I mean, that's pretty much what, what most of it that? is. In, is in. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I was trying to remember. There was this band that uh, was advertised, like, on... On one of those pundit shows recently where, like, one of the guys, like, he had, like, a leather mask with, like, spikes coming out of it. And he was, like, the son of a, of a, uh, one of the ambassadors or some shit. And they're just like, what do you have to say? He just, like, stares at the screen. Like, you fucking losers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, down with capitalism. Huh. Yeah, good job. Sure. <laughs> Um, after Fuck that, I did go see Brightburn, which is uh, James Gunn produced. I think his brothers wrote the movie. Hmm. Uh, about the evil, the evil Superman, Superman, pretty much Superboy. Um, a little underwhelming, but it's got some good kills. Uh, I feel like the movie's it's pretty much like um, it's introducing the character. I read the ending because I was just bored with it. Like, oh, cool trailer. Yep, people, people. Die. Uh, honestly, you can mm. at some point or another if it's if it's on TV and it's free, like watch it. I mean, it's it's Meh. it's not anything you have to really think about. What a raving review. Yeah, yeah well, there I mean, we go. Well, I was telling Roland, I go, it's got some really good kills, and I feel like. Uh, uh, it has a lot of James Gunn um, touch on it. Not again. It, I mean, not that anything I'm saying here suggests that it's bad. I just think I just I'm just bored with it. Okay, cool. Superman Evil. Well, the end. Like, Roland, yeah. you're like pretty much bored with every fucking movie. That well, I up, so. you know, like I still if we're, if we're going into TV series and stuff, like I'm looking forward. I haven't checked out Swamp Thing or Good Omens yet. Um, fuck, and I, those I was looking forward to. Uh, most of the DC Universe stuff has been pretty great. Have you checked out the Doom Patrol uh, season finale yet, Daniel? Don't say anything about it. I did, man. I don't say anything. Fucking, you know what? Know. We should fucking watch don't that later. We'll anything. watch. We'll watch that later, dude. No, we'll watch it later. You will love it. It's just, it, was it, is, dope. it is. Fuck. I am so surprised. Like I really am. Like it um, is. By all of the DC Universe stuff, like I'm right very part, surprised. Like, the whole tone of the fucking season yes. if you watched any of it absolutely um and I, I told roland that i did see like the first i i've only been able to get a, a chance to catch the first 20 minutes of good omens yeah. and so far like i'm really enjoying it uh, but frankly I, it's because david tennant oh, i'm, I'm so yeah. good omens man that was a great book uh, yes Tenet's it was there, you know? dude holy fuck i, I was, actually got the, uh, the audio book which i'm I was, actually listening to i was to telling right now. ray like aside from the sandman comics that was my first uh actually my first game in and pratchett book that i read before i before i was introduced to discworld like years before this was like senior year in high school and i read this and i was like fuck this is funny <laughs> like i like it um there's actually uh i mean there's i'm still kind of like interested in getting into the terry patrick uh terry, terry patrick Di this world yeah. say dick world yeah. <laughs> this world book uh but i i want to like listen to him on audiobook because i feel like uh so that's probably absorb them a little bit better that would because probably be pretty interesting i mean there's so many books i want to read but at yeah. this point um i have a like a set of books that i, I need to read for um, certain, uh, have podcasts? either of you guys watched the trailer for? Did so? So have I? Did you? Either of you dudes watch the Dark Crystal back in the day? Well, yeah, of course. Okay, Daniel. Yeah, and I know they're doing that way. The, the, uh, series or whatever the fuck. I thought it was a sequel. I don't know if it was or, a prequel or anything, but like the trailer I looks saw dope about as that. fuck. The trailer looks fucking interesting. I I thought it was a whole lot of bullshit, but holy fuck! Like, okay, you know. Um, cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um and I guess the Wheel of Time TV series, whenever the fuck they get around to it. Oh yeah. I'm just oh. hoping they don't flop it didn't, to hell. Didn't you have that on the? I feel like someone had that on their uh, yeah hard drive. Oh oh no 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 no. Because I feel like um, I've seen a portion of that, but like it was uh, uh, it was streaming on one point in one of the damn services. I think it was it, like but on it was Prime called, or something. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, I'm thinking of something else. Dragon, I think was the name of the company or whatever. Yeah. Did the 
Red Dragon or Red uh, like pilot episode Red something. It was a fucking take on the Manetheran um, uh, reference from the Wheel of Time. It was uh, Red some shit. Damn. Well, no, it was just or, the simply the oh yeah, yeah, yeah one, for the company. No, right? I'm th- right. Yeah, so Red it was Eagle. Red Eagle. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that sounds a little more familiar. But yeah, they just did like a crappy prologue. Of- some, or, sorry, or another. It's a was crappy it? copy of the prologue from the first book. The so they were able to keep the rights a little bit longer because yeah. Sony was about to snatch them up or some bullshit. Yeah, some something like that. It's a real fucking dick move to pull. <laughs> like, really, let's just shit this out so we can. Yeah, because they had like, like so many years you, to like do something with it. And they it. didn't. They was that was that a wasted. BBC uh, produced kind of um, series? I don't. No, but it had the Phantom. I don't think it was. Oh yes. fucking! Uh, Billy, Zane. Billy Zane was in there. Hell Holy dude. shit! That I'm, and and that wasn't enough to say. Yeah, he plays. Fuck. Who does he play? It wasn't he Ishmael. I think you're right. That would have been. Int- I, I I should check that out. I mean, at the very least. Uh, but what was fucking name Ishmael's it, old dude. name in the fourth age or whatever? It was like Elaine uh, or Antedrani or was that Samuel? Um. All right, Google time. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm I'm thinking of Ishmael's like his the like the name he had after he was reincarnated, and I think that was Moradin. Where I'm getting confused. Moradin, yeah. But that was the later name. But I'm trying to the one like when like yeah he his and, his fucking uh, uh, his uh, old age. Yeah, he was age. Yeah. Okay. What yes. was uh, what was Samuel's name? Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> He was, uh... Oh. And he was reincarnated as Bile. Tell Janin Islandsar. He was reincarnated as Bile, right? B-A-B-A-E-L, Bail, I think. B-A-A-L. B-A-E-L, not Ball. That would be that one, but... Uh, and he gets his ass kicked by, um... Fuck, what was it? Uh, he gets his ass kicked by... Uh, by, uh, Lan, Yeah. Lan goes in there after Bale fucks up um, uh, the uh, damn the two brothers uh, Gareth Brian was it and uh, his his other brother like the two badasses oh yeah yeah like because, he like, fucks one, them both the one up. was like the child of the children of light commander or whatever yeah and the other was the leader of the younglings I think he went in first the leader of the younglings and fucking Bale just fucked him up and then like his brother who's supposedly even like a million times more badass same thing and Bale or you know Samuel cuts his fucking arm off and is like yeah get the fuck out of here and then here comes Lan and just fucked him up like ah oh, that was great but um I don't know man like I think I read some post not too long ago on either Reddit or some other cheese where uh the guy that wrote the last Ooh, few you're incorrect who actually was it, dude? It's not Bale? B- Bile or whatever? No, fucking... Bile. Um, Bale. So apparently Rand went to travel to Italy to confront Samuel. Yes. Um, Wait, but they what? instead traveled to Shadar Logoth. Shadar Logoth? <laughs> yeah, Shadar Logoth, yeah. <laughs> whatever, I just read the bitch, whatever. <laughs> like um, a bitch. During his back- Battle of Ransom, Samuel was enveloped by Mashadar after being distracted by the Aeol Maiden Leah and was presumably killed. But wasn't he reincarnated after that? Who's who is Baal ba- ba- then? B A uh, God, I have to keep fucking saying <laughs> it. It's so annoying. The, spelling the it's goddamn so name. fucking annoying. God <laughs> damn it. I'm pretty sure it was Ooh. him, dude. No. No, Bale was the clan chief of the Goshen Aeol. No, 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 dude. Uh that was uh, Kuladin, wasn't it? No. Uh... I'm, I'm almost certain that Samuel was... Uh, because uh, Bale in... No, uh, like, Kuladin was end, also the dude who claimed he was the Karakar. Right, yeah, and he got his fucking head chopped off by Matt. But... Um, so welcome to Wheel of Time Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up, bitches. Um, no, dude. So Bale was uh, like, as like Samuel, he was a great general, and he was the one in charge of all the armies. And at least that's what I remember at the end of the at the end of the books. But Brian Sanderson compared uh, 
the Wheel of Time series to Lord of the Rings when he was like commenting about how they're going to try to shit it out as a TV series or whatever. And so it was like, uh, good fucking luck. I, eh. Wait, he's, he's like comparing the, the, the extensiveness of, of like fucking Wheel of Time right, to like the, to the fucking Lord of the Rings. three books. Oh, the, 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 the three of the, yeah, the how many how many books were in uh, the Wheel of Time, dude? Like, it's like twenty? Fucking, yeah. <laughs> 13, no, fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Well, I was close. Yeah, I was close. yeah, yeah. You're you're not far off. Each book is like anywhere between three to seven hundred pages or some shit. See, like like those books, uh, I, I, I feel like I would have to do like three. Uh, yeah, I would have to ones. do well with like uh, uh, listening to the audio book. It's those. still okay, but they were still not as. Um, confusing as reading the lord of the rings because that was just like i mean tolkien condensed an entire fucking planet you know into three books so it's just like what the fuck does any of this shit mean and at the very least jordan and sanderson like stretched all that crap out you know kind of through the oh, they, the whole shebang and uh and there, I still there's no read. fucking Rolling Green Hills that you talk about for pages like Tolkien did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, eh, all right. Um, there is description, but for fuck's sake, it was usually tied to like the character's perspectives that was going on. Yeah. Um, so, is, it, is, it, is it safe to say that um, you all are more a fan of the... Yeah. The Wheel of Time series and uh, Lord of the yeah. Rings. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love and I love Lord and, of the Rings. And, uh, Those are some of the, the first World fantasy series too, right? The Lord of the Rings are some of the first fantasy books I fucking read as a kid, Ooh, this and I just okay. stumbled into them. I, I, uh, that's apples and oranges, bud. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I would say they're like. I mean, just from the little I know about them, they are completely different. Discworld is, it's more, uh, Discworld compared to any of those, it's really not more about the lore. It's more about like, just like, there's a lot of intelligent fucking like plot and just comedy in there than anything. And and, yeah, and by, like by intelligence, I mean in like, form. yes, perfect. That's absolutely the, the perfect way to describe the Discworld series. Like there's... Because Pratchett was, I mean, he's basically an anthropologist. He would take fucking, like, modern day or, uh, I guess, just different varying themes that are, that uh, either applied to society at, at large or just other things that he was working on and fucking made a big joke out of it. And, fuck, it was, it was awesome. You could, you could find a lot of interesting parallels in there. It wasn't just straight fantasy kind of thing. Like, it was more, if anything, it was more comedy. Well, if, yeah, like one um, character travels to basically like the Aztec land, mm -hmm, and he makes a mm -hmm. joke about how you can trip over all the architecture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was oh, so it pyramids? Uh, pyramids. Man, guys, no, I mean, pyramids. you should was, uh, you should just have like Eric a like a Eric. Do you Wait, guys should just yeah, have yeah, like yeah. a like a mini series where you just fucking go through all the fucking <laughs> Discworld and uh, Wheel of Time series? So I'm I'm rereading the uh, I'm I'm still I'm rereading the Moist von Lippig uh, uh, trilogy again because that's just that's still <sighs> so my good. favorite. Going postal, going and, postal, uh, making money, and uh, was the last raising and, steam. Uh, moving pictures? No, moving pictures was. Uh, that oh, one, that right. one was are about, you, are you about uh, the Rush album? shut the fuck up, Ray. <laughs> Moving Pictures was, uh, was it uh, Gaspode's uh, book, right? The dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there was also like he wasn't the dude that, that Gaspode was basically manipulating. Oh, um, oh, fuck, what the hell is the name of that bum? Uh... Uh, Foul I'm Ron, oh, Foul Ron, wasn't it? Was, like, I've got it was, it was, like right it was Foul Ron. Right. And like they, yeah, they throw in like, uh, yeah, because that one was like the introduction of of uh, a film or whatever into the disc world, <clears throat> and yeah. so they had like they had like two completely unrelated characters to anything. It was a one offer, but Gaspode was there. Uh, but I think this was before he 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 uh, shacked up with Foul Old Run or Foul Run, whatever the hell his name was. You know, guys, Foul I, Run. I, yeah. I I really feel I should stop you there because I feel like you <laughs> have a fucking mini series coming your way. Yeah, and uh, I think fun. we do. That yeah, you should, you, should, movies, I guess. you should totally, you should totally fucking do the fucking uh, like a little mini series on uh, the, the, the series the, the themselves. Turtle moves, goddamn it! This uh, Discworld podcast and Wheel of Time podcast. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like it should. I mean, Shit, which means I gotta I, I, I mean, time speaking of, it, uh, like, uh, fuck. I, I, I need to rebuy all of the Wheel of Time books. I want them again. But um, I, th I think a good one to, be go uh, to go through would be uh, Neil Gaiman's books as far as, like, as, as well, on the not? topic as well. Why the well. fuck not? Um, I've read a lot of those, too. 
and they're fucking great. You should just them. call it like the speaking book, of good the, omens and all the book, the dickhead book podcast. Or something. <laughs> book, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Book, book, book quest, book quest, right? Uh, the ser- uh, books, book series quest, or something yeah. like that. I don't know. Um, well, let's get back to the movies real quick because oh, yeah, uh, yeah, right. I feel like in. That's what this episode's about, hey, yeah. This is filler. So, all right. So. This is, uh, let's get back to the filler, right? Yeah. Um, the true filler. After I saw, we saw Brightburn, um, I saw Booksmart. Basically, it's about like. Uh, I thought it was like a modern day Mean Girls or whatever the way you describe it. The way like, I describe yeah, it. No, clueless. no, no. I mean, it was, it was, it was a lot. Honestly, it was a lot better than Clueless or I think Mean Girls, too. You know? I've seen both those movies, uh, and I feel like this was a way better. Yeah. Um, it was a directorial debut from uh, Olivia Wilde. Oh. Know who she is. oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. she uh, she did that. And Good for I, her. That's why uh, Jason Sudeikis is in there because that's her husband. So like, oh, um, thirteen. It's a, it's a pretty house. funny movie. I I was describing it to Roland earlier. Uh, certain scenes, um, I wouldn't want to like divulge too much because I mean, there's a lot of podcasts Spoiler, out there that have done done that. And Do um, it. Uh, I'd recommend. Simpsons did it. Yeah. What was that? Simpsons. Simpsons, yeah. Simpsons did it. <laughs> well, Stupid South Park reference. <laughs> um, check out Booksmart. I won't talk about it too much. Mm. Uh, now we'll go up to the movies that we have not seen or that are upcoming. Yeah, I'm looking at that list that you got. And uh, we'll go through the list real quick. Um, mm-hmm. We have John Wick 3. Has I anyone seen watched... any of the John Wicks? I have, I have not seen, seen the any first of the John one. Wicks. I, still, I have not seen I had any the, of them. I, I had the not, second man, one downloaded for the longest gets, time. Assassin gets pissed, his dog gets off. Right, yeah. Go Keanu. I will murder from my, you. From my uh, understanding from like what people have told Be me. to each other, but fuck you for killing my dog. <laughs> Yeah, um, I hear the first one's really good. Second one's kind of mad. The third one's really good too. So I mean, yeah. I haven't seen any of them, but uh, I tried to watch John Wick two because it's on Plex. Oh, yeah. uh, but yeah. I, 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 I will get I around out, to I'll, it. I'll get around to it at some point. Yeah. Um, the next movie I have is Ma. Ma what the hell is that? Which is basically uh, Octavia Dude, that Spencer. Movie seems trippy as fuck. It looks weird. It looks fucking weird. Uh, no. It's uh, Octavia Spencer. Um, oh, yeah. She came out in um, what was that Guillermo del Toro movie uh, about the The Shape of Water. The Shape of Water. There you go. Yo. Uh, she comes out in that, uh, but uh, she's like a, a lady who fish sex romance. Gotcha. Befriends um, these teenagers, uh, and she lets them party in their in her basement. But at some point or another, like it kind of turns. Uh, she locks them down there. Not that she locks them down there, but Puts like she kind of like keeps uh, pushing. Um, stalks them basically. She pretty much stalks them, pretty much. Yeah, if you see the trailer, that's pretty much all you get from it. Yeah. Uh, but it's just really, it just looks really fucking weird. Mm. Um, I feel like they almost divulged the whole movie in the trailer, but I mean, if there's like a twist towards the end, I assume this is what I'm assuming that she is like an outcast from. Her high school years, oh, and so her, the she's... parents are like the, the the kids have the parents of the, the teenagers who like outcasted her in high school, and she's just doing it to like get back at them. Oh, I don't really long think this, con. Yeah, uh, the next one is uh, God Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Uh, I want to see it just for the shock factor. I've heard I visually, see fuck it's everybody pretty up. cool. But Daniel and I were talking about it before. Like, it would be really fucking hilarious if, if you know, like for anyone that watched the TV series, if Godzilla did his like uh, that. What, or what is that? The old movies. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, what was it? That um, that like flying double double kick or whatever that Godzilla does. That they like reuse that one clip every time. Godzilla knows martial arts. Where he, yeah, he fucking like flips no, up horizontal on his tail just and just flies. <laughs> And kicks him. Basically, flies with his belly up. Yeah, towards <laughs> like his fucking enemies. horizontal and Feet kicks burst. him. Yeah, like some kind of like Street Fighter move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> it's the fucking funniest shit ever. If you've never seen it, fucking look for it. It is so great. <sighs> it's dumb. I'm gonna try to find it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you it is the watch dumb. It, you just see gods so at all like fucking lift up and go horizontal and fly forward and kick. Like stupidest shit. His mm, tail drags on the fucking ground. It's the dumbest shit ever, but it's so great. Okay. Um, next up, um, classic. Any, um, Rocket Man. Right. Here we go. Found it. He found it. I think I can see the reflection in your in your glasses, Daniel. <laughs> 
Oh, God. I will never forget that go. fucking just, just scene. Just check that out, Ray. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're going to watch the trailer yeah. on YouTube here. No, no, no. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> they use that shit. Does he give like, Did he just time. fucking give like the fucking hell yeah? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Do it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There it is. They you reuse that clip throughout the whole series, dude. It's so stupid. Are you are you seeing this one? Like, watch. I fucking love that. He does that. that shit. Yes. And then he goes like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking. Great. I I visualize that in my head, and yeah, that's exactly what I saw. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Fucking love it. <laughs> They're not gonna fucking do that shit. No. They're not gonna no, do that shit. No, but it would be so great. <laughs> they better though. Right. Be so good. Shut up. Uh, if, if they do that Dude, and he, he fucking gets him goes like, like the soul power. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, moonwalks right afterwards too. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Wow. Okay. That's Bro. that's fucking great. So what's next there? Yeah, you got Rocket Man, which uh, Rocket Man, which is I mean, the speaks for Elton itself. John, Everybody uh, knows remake, that that's Elton John biopic. It's rated R, so like that alone is enough to. It's more than likely going to be worth a couple bucks, just you know, for it. I was reading about it, though, and apparently it's a biopic that kind of like fucks with the truth a little bit. Don't they all do, man? Yeah, I would imagine they all do. I mean, well, no, 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 but like, okay. but in a playful sense. Oh. And it kind of reminds it's me, intentional. it's reminiscent of like the I'm Not There movie. Oh, with the Joaquin Phoenix? Mm, well, with Bob Dylan. Oh, no, Bob, the Bob Dylan. Like, it's like, where, like, like about the left there's behind. a bunch of people, like, people like playing him. Like, do different, yeah, like, uh, Richard Gere, mirrors, that yeah. little fucking kid, fucking yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I got uh, you. Yeah. Well, Kate Blanchett. Yeah, she plays him at some point, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I I haven't Blanchett. seen that movie, but I, I've seen, like, like, clips from the movie itself. It looks like a trip. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, I it's uh, alright like it was a bit underwhelming because I was really excited about it but then I just went eh ha. well I, I hear like uh, Rocket Man is almost like a musical I mean it's basically uh, Elton it be? John songs Christ um, well it's, it's presented as a musical so I mean, like, they just like kind of break right. out into like Elton John songs yeah. at some point oh no okay but with Elton John being like the central character which is and, good the saving grace to it but it just makes me think of that that fucking Beatles musical or whatever uh, I don't all, even talk all, about that all, I fucking hate that all shit across the universe. we tried watching it like two or th two, two times or something that and, was that was a part of shit fest 2007 it was so bro. bad 2007 2008 it was so fucking fest, bad I, I think we watched that fucking we watched Attack of the Killer Tomatoes before that that, or lethal force, and then we got into that, and we couldn't get to the end. Was, this we, is too we would fast forward, yeah, um, through every this, scene th until they got to the songs. And at some point, I was like, just fast forward nah. to the songs. Like, hey, like, I can't. You know what? Do this. Nah, I'm just gonna go outside and have a beer. This is fine. Um, uh, after Rocket Man, I do have a, the Child's Play remake. I want to see about this? this. I want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, they, they fucking like. Redoxed uh, fucking Chucky to where like now he gets Wi-Fi or whatever. I think we talked about it at one well, point. Well, there's like before. multiple Chucky's, right? Oh, really? Is that is that what it is? I don't know about that. Like, um, it almost it just from the trailer, it almost seems reminiscent of. Uh, here you go, Roland. Brace yourself. Uh, Halloween three, mm. in a sense, uh, where basically there's a company that has like created these uh, dolls, and like basically they're made to like fucking cause destruction just like oh. they, that uh, company makes the masks in Halloween 3 yeah 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 and they're used to like kill kids uh, this one is almost like made to use to kill humans right and they're kind of like synced up through like Wi-Fi and like Bluetooth yeah. or whatever the fuck it is <laughs> we're gonna drop these over the Middle East guys and just see what happens but then you also have uh, Mark fucking Hamill assholes voicing the character exactly Chucky, that which is, is cool. why that is the that is the main hook for me to check it out like ah yeah he's got a good fucking he, he does a good villain voice yeah um, that's not even a fucking hook for me i'm just like totally <laughs> hard no on this fucking movie <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that would get me to go check it out but i'll probably wait for jamie to fart it through on plex uh you skip or if i uh Say, hey, Roland, let's go watch fucking ah, Child's Play 3. Uh, all right, fine. I wouldn't dude. go watch it by myself, all right? Like, I, I, I no, wouldn't. you would never go watch it by yourself. No, I, I'd be it, bored. I, I'd <laughs> I'm the instigator. I'm the one that's yeah. going to fucking tell you, like, it's hey, It's more fun for this. me that way. Yeah, of course. 
Sure. Um, next movie after that, I have a uh, Spider-Man: Far From and Home. Look, so I've pretty much already guessed out the goddamn plot to this, and the main reason I liked the first one was because of Michael Keaton. Like, to me, what got me to watch the movie was the fact that, like, the the like behind the scenes bloopers was like every moment he was just like he flipping around, being like, "I'm Batman, I'm Batman," and like everybody was fucking laughing like that. I fucking love. And Daniel, did you watch the first one? Homecoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I really dug what they did with the vulture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. like the every man's man. Like, he's like, fuck, man. And here's Mike. Hey, look out for his boys to the end, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. That was that was cool. Like the the it was it actually like was it was a bit, it was villain. more about the villain than it was about uh about Spider Man's character almost to me, but I really don't necessarily give a shit about the second one. Like Mysterio. Do you like, know? Do you all know anything about Hydro Man? Yeah, uh, just some like the same as the 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 Spider Man three with the Sandman guy or whatever. Because uh, but with water, there, there's a pop that has, just some, has, has like surfaced. It's um, just some no name fucking. Uh, of a uh, criminal that gets the powers of water and like okay. you know but like I don't think he's in this one it, the supposedly is. in this is, is I don't know if it was an actual character I thought they were playing like elementals or whatever there was like a fire guy and an earth guy and a water yeah, guy and, oh. I don't know if it was actually trailer. and so the the, the well, trailer the, was the, the only reason I say that is because like I said like I said there's a, like a Funko Pop that has surfaced yeah. that is Hydro Man well, there's a okay. Funko Pop for, for like everything. fucking everything now but I, I feel like that's like kind of giving away like Related to, one of the main so aspects of uh, Spider-Man. Well, another thing home. that they gave away was like the Mysterio toy or whatever. Like they they wrote a description for it saying he's Spider-Man's greatest enemy or whatever it, the fuck kind of thing. But even though they but like, it was, like pairing up in this exactly, movie? and that was the thing. That's so the yeah, way Mysterio's character is. They're is supposed he's, to be talking about, and I think was in the trailer uh, about a parallel like, worlds that like be, yeah Mysterio. Universe. Right, exactly. Mysterio was from an alternate. Oh, spoilers! Who gives a fuck? Uh, alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that. <laughs> like he Mysterio. came from another place to help us or help this universe, the six one six universe, and now he pairs up with Spider Man, and it's like, oh fuck off! Like they're not gonna give away the whole plot to that. No, Mysterio's character is like he's a fucking liar. Period. He makes a bullshit and, and like farts it out for everyone to play and see. Like the guy does special yeah, effects. Yeah, he's a charlatan. At, at, by, at and art. so that's what I'm expecting with this. Like I'm expecting J- Jake Gyllenhaal's Hall's character to be just a full of shit. You know, like oh, I lied, guys. Here's the big twist? Shyamalan twist. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Like, come on. He oh, he lied, and he tricks you know, Samuel you know, Jackson. Oh man! You know what the real wow. twist is, is it going to be like when Shyamalan is actually like a producer in the movie? Right. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. Yeah, Jake so, Gyllenhaal pulls off his fucking mask and wishes it's, his it's, face. It's, and it's, it's M Night. M. <laughs> <laughs> Got you guys. Get the fuck out of here. No, like. It's a, it's probably be fun to watch just because it's another goddamn comic book movie, but I'm not expecting it to be fucking great or anything like that at all. Speaking of comic book movies, what about Dark Phoenix? Nah, fuck no. That's I'm trash. Completely yes. un, I'm completely uninterested in this no, movie. No, absolutely. <laughs> gives a fuck. I it's feel like, like, what's her name is hot because she's a redhead and they always have like points the, in that. The girl from Game name, of Thrones? Nah. Whatever. Nah. Okay, uh, what about Hellboy? I want to check that one out. Didn't that come, didn't that come and go already? Yeah, or? they it apparently flopped like they flopped they fucking hard, pretty dude. hard because oh, it flopped so hard, yeah. Because they supposedly uh, filmed it like okay, like we're not going to explain the origins. It's just like another day in the life of Hellboy. This is like all of his lore and everything has been established. You know, he's a demon from hell. He's trying to be cool and like. You know what's human, funny is that like I so, didn't even realize you know, this movie came out in theaters. Like I'm just like yeah. It fucking came and went so, fucking fast. I'm thinking it's going to be. For this one. I'm thinking it's going to be like the first, the first Hellboy, which I don't know that it was really. It did really great in the theaters either. Like I think it was just another. one I of did those. enjoy those though. No, they were they were great. Um, Ron Perlman and ended Ron up Perlman being a bitter amazing. bitch. Yeah. He ended up being a bitter bitch about it later on, but he was great as Hellboy. Um, but so I'm thinking this is going to be the same way where it's going to be like it's going to have like a cult following where we're like, no, this movie is cool. I don't think it's going to have a cult following. <laughs> I don't know. Like I need to see it to be able to say like when I watched the first because uh, I watched the second Hellboy movie uh, like on DVD or something. I didn't I didn't see it in theaters at that point, and I was still like, okay, this isn't this isn't bad. It's not great. It's just like a fun little thing. Like I wouldn't pay a fucking theater movie for this kind of stuff. 
And I wouldn't have for this new Hellboy either. Uh, granted, well, I think it looked cool did, as shit. Neither did any of us. So yeah, but <laughs> but I, I don't I don't really like doing that for a lot of movies. Period. I, I I don't think this was a I don't think it was gonna it's it's a bad movie at all. I just think it. They fucking released it at the worst possible time, like when all these other fucking comic book movies are getting shit out, kind of thing. It's like, no, dude, you should have waited, or just you know put it off, or I don't know what. Like, no, it, it was okay. It was, it was um, a bad time. Like, I'm, I'm, that's the thing. Like, I love the Hellboy character. Mike Mignola is a fucking awesome uh, uh, comic book uh, uh, writer, uh, artist, and everything. And so. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I haven't I'm, seen I'll sit it. through it, and I'm, I'm really. I'll I'm, sit through it if it's I'll free. Probably, I'm probably going to enjoy if it's free, it I'll when I get it. around to it. Uh, Dumbo. Who cares? Oh, Danny DeVito. Yes. Yes. Dumbo, Aladdin, Danny. any of those fucking Fuck movies. Fuck Aladdin. Like, we've seen dude. them in the 90s. Cartoon. Fuck Aladdin. Fuck off. So I was talking to my family not too long ago about Aladdin, and they thought they actually thought it was gonna be another cartoon. I was like, oh no, it's real. Like it's live action. Will Smith's that shit fucking, fucking Dumbo fucking flop too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Get out Aladdin, of here. Aladdin. Fuck Aladdin. Fuck. Yeah, it dropped a, like, like last month, dude. Yeah. That's fuck, hilarious. Fuck Dumbo and fuck Aladdin, too. No, that's going to be um, hot garbage. The Dead Don't Die. That I'm looking forward to. That I'm interested Excited in. Excited about Yes, about Adam that, Driver and Bill Murray. Like, fuck yeah. I got would Adam love Driver, to see that. Bill Murray, fucking Tom Waits. Oh, that's right. Is in there. Yo, so it just seems like... Like totally deadpan humor. And yeah, it's yeah. Be great. perfect. Fucking perfect. Uh, from what I've uh, seen on like Twitter, the people who have seen it, they're just saying it's a weird fucking movie. Mm. And I'm down to watch it. Absolutely. Um, Men in Black International. Okay, I like the characters. I don't know that it's going to be great. Uh, I like the Men in Black series um, up until the third one, or even uh, which I was well. The second one was kind of meh. There's time the third, travels. The, yeah, there's exactly. The third one was good because of that. Like they, they, they. Fucking, I did like the third one a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than I did the second one. Yeah, the second one was forgettable. Uh, the first one was perfect. Uh, but well, of course, it might be international. Like I am intrigued, but I'm not ready to run out and watch the it. The reason so I like speak. it is because uh, more more ready uh, not ready to Chris, like fork over Chris, the fucking Chris Hemsworth money and Tessa Thompson like they have they have great chemistry and like how they did in uh, Thor Ragnarok and so I'm just expecting more of the same which is like okay cool that works for me like just fucking go do it you know. Okay. Uh, well, what, I'm, what I'm interested in is like the expansion of like the MIB mythos. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah well I um, I I would assume I'm glad it's not like a reboot or anything. No, it is just like a continuation yeah. of the other movies. It's just like no, no, no. It's like all these other Rid, events happen, but look, there's more than just this like one little place in the United States that's yeah. worried about, about this shit. Right, right, Basically, right. Basically, fucking New York City. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the new Shaft? That was a thing, really. The new Shaft is coming out, and they're uh, they're bringing back the original Shaft. He's like the father of Samuel L. Jackson, and then Samuel L. Jackson's kid is like, they're all three of them are getting together. So it's like little to shaft. This shaft thing. Yeah, it's like it's, micro it's shaft. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like granddaddy shaft, daddy shaft, and then like kitty shaft. Yeah, oh, baby shaft, bite size shaft, yeah, baby shaft, <laughs> <laughs> bite size shaft. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, hard pass on that. Uh, Soft pass. The movie Ooh. yesterday basically Was it's about a movie where everyone forgets. Uh, there's only one person alive who remembers the Beatles songs. He starts playing them. And gets famous for doing so. That sounds so stupid. It's, I I kind of want to see, see it, but I feel like it would intriguing. be just as bad as like across the universe. So yeah, maybe worse. But also, like I hadn't seen Love Actually, but I know a lot of people have seen Love Actually and how they talk about that fucking movie. Mm-mm. It's from the same dudes who did Love Actually or whatever, and so uh, that makes me less interested. But it sounds like something I I don't want to see. I was talking to my mom about uh, Rocket Man and yesterday about stuff that would would be kind of cool to check out or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I still, I don't know, I watched the trailer again for yesterday and went, fuck that. Oh, (laughs) speaking of music based movies, there is that one Springsteen movie coming out. Is it like a biopic or something? Wait, what? Or a documentary? It's not a biopic. No, it's. It's I can't remember the fucking title, but it's a 
about this like kid who's in India or some shit. Hmm. And he and his friends discover Springsteen's music. Oh. And there's like this kind of like weird hmm. societal um, rebuff for them. Like his dad's like, do you really think he, he talks or he speaks for us or us? Hmm. Really? And uh, isn't, isn't, funny, that, isn't that kind of like the same funny uh, scene. scenario with this yesterday movie? There's like an Indian guy who he's the only one that remembers the Beatles song. Well, yeah, but no, but, but not not in the same it's just sense. Just this kid I, like listening to all his tapes or whatever, and he's like obsessed yeah, with them else, because it like relates good. to him. And there's this funny clip in the trailer Somebody where the kid visits the United States and he's at customs, and. The cousin is like, well, why are you here? And he said, I'm here to see the homeland of, or see the hometown of Bruce Springsteen. Mm. And the cousin is like, I can, I can think of no better way to visit the United States than see the homeland of the boss. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I I think it would be like more interested, uh, for, more interesting um, for people who are actually like into like Bruce Springsteen's music, yeah, or just uh, appreciate some kind of. Uh, well, it's part of Americana. Did yeah, you, yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. Did you read about uh, not too long ago that they were? I don't know if it was going to be Springsteen a, and I. That's what it's called. Oh, is that what it's called? No, it's not. Really? <laughs> it's called Blinded by the Light. What is it called? Blinded by, by the Light. Blinded Ooh. by the Light. Wrapped up like a douche. <laughs> <laughs> no roller in the light. <laughs> ah, thank wow, you, Daniel. I'm surprised you pulled that one out of your ass, Roman. Good job. Where else would I get it from? Um. I'll have okay, so I, I figured Daniel hasn't checked out or heard about this, but I was gonna ask you, Ray. So, did you read anything recently about? I don't know if it's gonna be a biopic or just like a like a documentary on Robert England. I have not. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was gonna be this year or next kind of thing or what the hell is going on, but they're supposedly gonna give him his own uh, like shebang through it now, no. which would probably be fun to check out. Wait, uh, sorry, who's that? Robert England, the guy that plays Freddie. Um, Freddy Cougar. Oh, Freddy Cougar. That'd be dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, going uh, down the let, list. let me go take a real quick pee and I'll be right back. Yeah, you bitch. Hey, I gotta take a pee. Give me man. this list. Same. Oh, okay. fuck you guys. You gotta leave me here. Hey, man, I'm uh, are we still recording? Beers in. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I have only three beers in. Wait. Yes. <laughs> wow, wow. I will take this minute to look through the rest of this garbage list Ray has made. Yeah, it's trash. Oh, oh, wait. No. Yeah, sucks. Oh, why'd you leave it on with this last one? God damn it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Why? Absolutely not. Fucking trash. Uh, mm, uh, don't know that one. Mm, oh, that looks, nah. Never mind. Nope. We will wait and see here uh, while I drink my IPA. Mm, last IPA. So great. Mm, sing to me. All right, I'm back. Mm. <sighs> Daniel went off to do his. Take a pee? Yeah. All right. I was just farting through the last year list here. Uh, I mean, I haven't mentioned anything. I was just skimming it with general disdain. 21 bridges. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is the Lion King doing there? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that other I'm trying to remember what 21 bitches is, is either. 21 bitches? What? what Enunciate, son. We ain't watch porn. The porn rough. El Prado. <laughs> bring, bring in your sickness uh, into my presence. On, I'm gonna pass on that one. Yeah, you should. But we were on. We were on Midsummer. Yeah. Why? Well, hey, everybody. <sighs> All right, I'm back here. Um, next movie we're gonna talk about is called Midsummer. No idea. Um, it's a horror movie. Oh. It's by the guy who made Hereditary, which is my favorite horror movie from last year. I think I saw a movie of... Uh, oh, no, I'm thinking of The Orphan. Sorry, not Hereditary. The Orphan? What the fuck? Yeah. 
Jesus. I was, cause I was thinking of, uh, thinking I, I, saw this, back, uh, I saw this, I saw this, not that far, was it like 10 years? Maybe. Oh, it's a few years. Uh, I, I saw, um, I saw a, a, a post or whatever, which, what the, the character that played that, uh, that girl looks like now all grown up like, Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Whatever. 18. Mm, that's, sure. Let's not talk about that. Right? No. <laughs> Uh, Midsummer is basically uh, takes place in Sweden. It looked trippy, man. I checked out the trailer. Yeah, I it's I'm really this is the mo- movie I'm like most excited for. Surprisingly, very. Um, fuck I fucking about. loved Hereditary. Did you watch? You didn't watch Hereditary, right? Nope. I fucking loved Hereditary so much. Uh, Midsummer is by the same guy, and it looks like a fucking trip. And I am down to watch that. Um. I'm gonna check out the trailer while you're pushing here. Well, I'll let you watch the trailer real quick. Go ahead and check it out. Gee, thanks. Sit. Quiet down. Shut your. Calm your nips, Ray. They sound so Swedish. How's that kind of bar? <laughs> yeah, it takes place in Sweden. I'm already bored. This looks like the Wicker Man. <laughs> uh huh. Now it's looking more like the Village. I don't know. Also boring. This Somar. Oh, aha! Uh-huh. See what you did there. So clever. And a lot of shitty drawings. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, it's getting better. Still boring. Still people walking. Ooh. Oh. I remember seeing the person with the, the woman with the fucked up face. Is that Cara uh, De Levine, the girl from... <laughs> I thought you were going to say Cara Top. <laughs> <laughs> the girl from Suicide Same. Squad. <laughs> Fucking Cara Top again. Just give it up, friend. That's... That said a whole lot of nothing to me. Well, why, why are they going to fucking, like, give you the whole fucking plot of the movie in the trailer? How about something? Other How than, about like, nothing, dude? Some fucking, like... All you need to know... Hippy dippy it's, ass cult. It's the fucking guy who did Hereditary, and that is yeah. fucking fantastic What's Hereditary fucking again? movie, right? What is Hereditary again? Is it, like, like the Hills Have Eyes? Is a bunch of, like, incest or some shit or whatever? Jesus, fuck you. <laughs> I'll let you borrow my DVD like so you can like uncle, watch Hereditary. Uncle fuckers or whatever. No, it's, that's not called. That's not her, what Hereditary is at all. I need some. I need. Some, give me something to work with here. Come on, feed my brain. What's Hereditary? It's worth the watch. Oh God damn it! That, you're not selling it at it's all. It's not. For it's me. not. I can't fucking like just tell you about it. Like it just, this is not going to do it justice at all. I don't need justice. I just need. Something to feed my crappy imagination, or I'm bored. Speaking of doing justice, there's a image on the Discord for you dudes. Hmm? What do we got? Cha cha. Hey. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's so gross, dude. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reality. Eat it. Okay, so uh, Midsummer again, movie I'm most excited for this summer. Really? Uh, next one. I think I'm more excited for Spider Man. <laughs> well, that's not. Yeah, sure. It's bad. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Spooderman. The Fast and Furious not. presents Hobbs and Absolutely Shaw. Absolutely I want to fucking watch you this movie. You are such a fangirl. Is that what I'm thinking it's supposed to be? Is that yeah. another fucking Fast and yeah, Furious movie? Yeah. Fast and Furious it's presents a, Hobbs and Shaw. It's, a, it's, it's an offshoot. It's Jason Statham, Statham and fucking The Rock. The fucking Rock is like... Caring, uh, why is this on this list? Because it's fucking ridiculous, is what it is. Uh, that's all he could fucking say watching the trailers when we went. To, what was it? Do they play it in Endgame or I forget? No, and I don't like, think, that's no, all I, don't I remember think hearing you. This is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Give me a break. God, so have, gross. have fun, Roland. Have, have fun, fun at the theaters, all right? Have no, that costs money. I don't want to have fun. I want to be amused. Have fun. Wait, with, hey, with when the it, when, fucking... When it's free, how it's many, funner. How many Fast and Furious movies are there now? Like 12? I'm going to tell you right now, I don't give a fuck about any of the Fast and Furious movies. Then why do you care about this? It's the same shit. Because it's taking everything about the Fast and Furious. Johnson. It's the same shit with nuts in it. Think of anything that you've seen before with The Rock or any bullshit and uh, like just elevate it to like... Uh, 
ten thousand percent. The rundown, right? the rundown was cool. No, this is like way out, way worse. Outrageous. No, it's uh, way out more outrageous. <laughs> You gotta, outrageous! To, to watch this movie, to shut the fuck up. To watch this movie, you gotta you <laughs> have to like really suspend your imagination and of reality completely. Uh, I can only your brain. I, I can yes, only, I want to yeah, suspend my you, brain. I was gonna say, like, I can only deal with so much bullshit before. I want to watch like, this movie, eat a couple hot dogs, large popcorn, large coke, jerk <laughs> off to a bunch of half naked dudes floating around the goddamn that screen. have accumulated a lot of mass. Right there, you go. The mass of this movie. No alone. homo. No homo <laughs> at all. No, no, and I, I don't mean that sarcastically. I do not. Next movie. You give a pass. You you give it. It's just your ticket, Ray. The art of self defense. I was yeah. gonna, so I don't I don't know anything about that. Daniel, have you checked out anything about the art of self defense? Is that like another? Uh, yeah, I watched the trailer a couple kid? times. It looks hilarious. I'm down to watch that movie. It's it looks so fucking funny, or at least weird in the sense. <laughs> funny, weird. Uh, let Roland check out the fucking trailer here. Let me uh, amuse me or not. All right, look, let's just see what we got here. Hey, come on. No, no. Give me a fucking... Why did you just press the fucking... It's, it's, it's got a goddamn gyro in that shit that's supposed to detect when I turn the fucking phone sideways. Shut up. Right. Oh, I hate this kid, though. He's annoying as fuck. That's like Luther you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Case in point. Thank you. The best Lex Luthor was fucking Kevin Spacey, and that was only because he turned out to be a creep in real life. Um, so he sold the no. role. No, 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 no. Get this fucker out of here. The goddamn Facebook, the shit wipe, who fucked up Zombieland. What if this is fucking... St ah! Stupid. <laughs> this is the fucking dumbest nothing burger that I just I've watched so far. Thank you guys. Ah, oh, Roland. Thank you. Terrible. Thank you. Moving on. Anyways, Daniel, what do you think about this movie? Dude, I think it's gonna be fucking hilarious. I, I, I can't think stand so that well. aw that awkward cringe ass humor. I'm so tired of it that this fucking guy always puts out. Is it very representative of yourself? No, because then that would be funny. At least I could laugh at myself for that. I can't fucking laugh at this shit because I'd pay money for I it if I went to go cried. fucking watch it. Yeah, on the inside. Next movie, The Lion King. Eh. I already said it. Fuck these Disney yeah, no, movies. You, you said that earlier. <laughs> Why? Is Next movie. This, there we go. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I, I don't know a shit about Tarantino that. Tarantino movie. Oh, so that's the one I, I was trying that, to remember. I was going to ask you. As long as they don't do the stupid let's jump through time bullshit I think it'll be good I was gonna ask you I know Quentin Tarantino was doing some other fucking like remake or some bullshit kind of thing recently that I, I wanted to know about because I know you're all up on his nuts all the time generally speaking so Django Chain is fucking hilarious that was and cool great. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. I have fucking not fantastic. seen that. That was that Jango was and Chain and fucking Inglorious Bastards Those are, are like fucking top Kill, notch Kill Bill? fucking movies. Absolute trash. Well, fuck off. Uh, what else? Um, <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Come on, come on, give me, give me. You're, you're the fucking Taron Twenty uh, Two. Kill Bill uh, Volume Two. <laughs> <sighs> Pulp Fiction. Trash. Moving uh, on. Come on. Reservoir Dogs. Uh, what was yeah, that? Reservoir, what was that? Death, Death Proof. Fucking boring. Reservoir Dogs had some good scenes. Some. Um, we did talk about Pulp Fiction, right? Right. And uh, from Dust Till Dawn, was that him? He was in the movie. He did not make the movie. Yeah, well. That okay. was Robert Rodriguez. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Um, Hateful Eight. So I watched that just the, for the first time last year, and I thought it dragged on way too fucking long. It was funny, you know, like when Samuel Jackson gets shot in the dick. But, <laughs> like, I mean, past that, it was like, oh, these are cool sets. 
you know, just like the fucking um, scenes or whatever sets that they made. Like, oh, this is interesting. But like, past that, it was boring as ball sacks. I mean, there's I don't. No, there's I no don't, convincing you what. No, no, Roland. not for Quentin Tarantino. I just, I don't give a fuck. I about think him. at some point, Roland, you kind of like. Uh, I don't do it on purpose. I'm not. I gave it a chance. I had alcohol. So it was like supposed to help me, you know, like it was supposed to relax me and make me more. It was it like loosen me up to sit through this. And it was like two and a half hours it's or something. three hours three. Long. Good God. The only reason, the main reason I watched that is because it like my brother and I watched it. And one of, one of his buddies, uh, when we rented uh, like an apartment house or a fucking like boat house or whatever the hell they're called uh, for um, Thanksgiving while my family was off cooking food and doing all their shit. So we watched it in the other like uh, room like as a way to just kill time. That was that was pretty much it. It's like, OK, sure. Yeah, this is three hours or whatever. But like, you don't know right. anything about the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, though? No, no. It's Brad it's Pitt like Once and, Upon a Time in Mexico. Uh, it's Brad Pitt and fucking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that the one that, uh, what's her it name? It takes place in the 60s with from, Margot Robbie. Yes, I was going to say yeah. the one from her, from the, the girl and, that played uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, one, one of the characters is uh, Charles Manson. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Boy, I'm pretty much guessing you're not going to watch that nah, at all. Nah. Uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. <laughs> yes. I didn't actually know anything about that one until I saw it on your list. Like, oh, fuck. Okay, cool. They did do a documentary about yeah, it, which is I, on Prime. Hmm. Uh, basically, it goes through uh, a scenario where there's people that wanted to ban the book from uh, elementary schools because eh. they felt it wasn't appropriate. Pussies. But uh, it goes through like... <laughs> Yeah, what, what it the, goes through people like, like the, fucking kids read in elementary. Get the fuck out of here, man! Like, less well, anyways, less they, read they go through this whole thing where it's like, worse than week, man. <laughs> hey, man, I fucking read like since kindergarten, and I still know you that. did read those books. Yes, yeah, yeah, me too. They're so. fucking great. Yeah, I fucking love them. But, but I know that I was the only fucking moron sitting I there I that, that learned how to you know read to start with. <laughs> fuck, like most people don't give a fuck. And so well, those are coming to life by Guillermo Tor- del Toro, so ah, you're they say might that be with the good, Mexican yeah. accent. Yeah, might as well. Guillermo, right? uh, it chapter two, <laughs> which you're gonna, you're gonna watch. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna, have you seen the first one, Daniel? No, me neither. No, me I'm neither. Yeah, that's oh, pretty good. Uh, the kids, uh, some of the kids in that movie are they do a really good job, and so does the new Pennywise. Very different from Tim Curry, but I mean. Mm-hmm. Can't we can all be Tim Curry anyways? So <sighs> nobody can be Duke. Uh, Tim Curry. Skip Twenty One Bridges because at some point I'm kind of just like that? that's like a far away movie. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it looks kind of stupid overall. Yeah, I saw it. I, I saw. Should, I saw a trailer in the theaters. It, it was like nah. I saw yeah. it in the trailers in the theaters. I was like, oh, that might be interesting. And then I was just like, wait, never mind. <laughs> Uh, the Joker movie. Yes. With Joaquin Phoenix. Absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. I am interested. Very interested in that. Yeah. I uh, don't know too much about it, but uh, mm-hmm. let's move I on. I want to keep it that way. Zombieland, I double know tap. Enough. Uh, oh, yeah, that's an obligatory whole ca- movie. The whole cast is coming back. Oh, I've, I fucking just got through that shithead in the art of self-defense. I think yes. so, yes. Yeah. You know it would be funny if Bill Murray came back as a zombie, just bit everyone, and that's how it ended. They all die. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll yeah, watch I, that I, one as, I, an, as I, an obligatory I, movie, but I'm really mostly expecting only greatness from uh, Woody Harrelson. I'm gonna bet I'm gonna get Jamie to kind of like buy my ticket because mm-hmm. yeah, I guarantee he's gonna watch this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, right. It's got Tallahassee. <laughs> it's it's fucking. It's fucking it's, Emma Stone, bud. It's fucking Emma Stone. It's Cheers with Zombies. Let's no, no, go. no. That's that's exactly what he's probably going to say. <laughs> like, it, fuck Emma Stone. He doesn't give a fuck about Emma Stone. No. He wants There's Woody sure. Harrelson. Yeah. And Cheers. Yeah. There you go. Come uh, on, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Terminator Dark Fate. I want to like this movie. I want to. I really do. He said that with almost like a quiver in your voice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel I it. Watched the last. <laughs> I didn't even watch Salvation. Although the new Terminator, and, like bad guy, looks badass. Oh yeah, the dude that plays the Ghost Rider in uh, Agents of Shield. Uh, what the hell's his name? He was fuck. He's a good actor. Uh, and like I did 
I liked him in the trailer. That was fun to check I out. I wasn't talking about his looks, Roland. I was talking about the way the Terminator works. Don't, <laughs> don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. I meant overall. He looks cool. You know, I think Jesus. he's like a really good looking male. And right, like, um, man. So, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind like kissing him a little bit. <laughs> mm, mm, now you're just and there's bitch. nothing wrong with that. You know we support you. Now yeah, you're, now you're just be, be, be yourself. <laughs> now you're just both. Not, I mean, come on. Now man. you're both being bitches. I yes. mean, I Linda Hamilton. Bitches, Linda yes. Hamilton's yes. back. Linda Hamilton's and I'm great. Kind of like yeah. That and James Cameron is a part of it now. That was the, so that's, that's the main like only way that's him. getting me interested in it is because he fucking finally got the rights back to fucking direct this shit. So. I'm, I'm assuming well, it's like, not going to suck. Why Linda Hamilton? Like, that's fucking stupid. Eh, I mean, it's a She's fun like shout 6, out. She's years old. Yeah, so is, <laughs> Von, uh, so, so is this, the, the Schwarzeniggs. And so... Yeah, but he is a robot. <laughs> You can you can account for that in the fucking Oh movie. fuck off. You're trying to come at this with goddamn logic. Give me a break. You know, is he like living in a lodge somewhere? Yeah, he's like, he's like yeah. a hermit. <laughs> he's the it's hermitator. Like log cabin, man. What is he like yeah. hunting and like he's fucking the, building fires and shit? Like Right. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> fuck, maybe he's I am a cybernetic organism, but I am Rambo. <laughs> Designed to live by myself in seclusion. Yeah, I, I that that part kind of was like I like to go camping. Uh, Doctor Sleep. He's like a Boy Scouts uh, troop leader. What? I haven't Sleep. read it. Don't know shit about uh, it. Is that like Doctor Giggles? Watch the teaser trailer. <laughs> Didn't get any sense of what the movie is actually supposed to be about. No. <laughs> it's the sequel so... to uh, The Shining. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. So it's gonna be about okay. the fucking kid. Like, yeah, exploring it's, his uh, Danny psychic or Torrance, powers. Uh, like twenty years later or something like that. Is this? Uh, is it? So is it an actual Stephen King I mean, movie? Probably or a past, but well, it could it, be cool. I guess. It's a. It's a Doctor. Yeah. I'm sorry, Stephen King did write Doctor, Doctor Sleep, Sleep and, but it was like, a short story, wasn't it? No, no, it's an actual novel. It's a novel. Yeah. Okay. I don't know too much about it, but I mean, hmm. it's Stephen King, Have so I might be interested read, in watching it. Uh, Doctor Sleep. I just said I didn't. Oh, I, was I have not read. I've read The Shining. I have not read Doctor Sleep. Okay. Wait, really? You haven't read The Shining? I've read The Shining. I have not read Doctor Sleep. Jesus fuck Roland. me! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> look. I, no, fuck off, Ray. Enunciate. Go to hell. Bitch, you don't listen to anyone. Uh, like, that's why your headphones are on to hear everyone yeah, that's talking on yeah, your fucking yeah, the microphones, right? Let's move on. <laughs> listen to the podcast. Mm-mm-mm. Do it on purpose, all right? Uh, Do it purposefully to listen to yourself. I hate my voice. Daniel, do you like your voice? Yes. Oh, I abhor it. Yeah, he loves like, it. But I mean, loves you, it. when you listen to it, you kind of hear yourself and like where you should improve and all those kinds of things. I have nothing to improve. Oh, so there. There, oh there's there, there's tons <laughs> to improve, bro. There's nah. a shit ton to improve. No, no. If I listened to my voice, then I wouldn't be able to keep it natural, right? And, and super cash, and and then like like yeah. Well, I, I, I if, if you're gonna say like uh, natural is going like. Talking to yourself uh, yeah. internally, externally, mm, right into right into the microphone. Always. But at any time where you're actually addressing everyone, you're Mm-mm. off the microphone. Oh, Talk. yes, <laughs> that is my flair. <laughs> All right, um, before we get into the actual last one, Rambo: Last Blood. Uh, no, I'm telling you, Home Alone Five. Home Alone Five. Home Alone five. <laughs> Have you all seen the fucking trailer for this shit? No, uh, no, no, I have I've not. I've seen no. just stills for it. Fucking Dude, he makes up like he if, looks so if Kevin old. McAllister was a serial. <laughs> like he murdered everyone. He like he have, killed his like, family. Those kind of traps. Does he have like a paint can like oh, flying around? Oh, really? That's <laughs> oh, come fucking on. Fucking like, watch pe- it right now. Just watch the fucking he's, watch he's, the trailer. He's it's, gonna it's have like it. like people stepping on fucking Hot Wheels and shit. <laughs> Come on. It's close. Uh, no. Uh, we're about to watch uh, the Rambo the last, tra- last yeah, blood. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll never on, see on, these on, Legos on. that I put on the floor. I just so happen to get them barefoot. They are so fucked. What is this garbage? Oh, cool. He pulled a knife out of his pocket. What else is fucking... Balboa is Productions? I've lived in a world of Oh, death. no. He's narrating. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched people I've loved. <laughs> I, don't ha- I didn't have Some a stroke. With a boy. This is how I always speak. Not enough left to bury. Get the fuck out of here. Hell, don't take my horse to the 
What? Rambo on a horse? Really? Yeah. What the fuck is this trash? All these years I've kept hey, my right, 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 right. Now I'm sharpening my knife. But the time has come to Ooh, face so my edgy. Past. Not sharp enough. I better go back to grinding it. And if it comes looking for me. Oh, fuck off. They will welcome death. <laughs> They do first blood. I still draw blood. Give me a break. I'd watch this over fucking um, that that um, Fast and Furious bullshit. Ironically, that's not safe. It isn't. That is the point. Like, it really isn't. I've still got my knife. And it's sharp. Wow. It's fucking <laughs> dumb. Really? Okay. Let's not. Let's say Ramble we did. Ramble last button. I'll fucking watch well, that. Well, let's not fucking... say we didn't. Plex. <laughs> um, he's really moving a lot slower these days. Uh yeah, I think he was in a barn was that whole like, trailer. Not another teen movie or one of those bullshit movies, the spook movies that had him like on a walk. I think it was on not a another teen movie. I want to say. Yeah, it was like like Rambo sixty or some shit. There was spooky. That's pretty much what this is, you know. Yeah, yeah. arthritis. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna end it with uh, that. No. Good God. Star Wars. Oh, Rise of Skywalker. Fuck me. What do y'all think? Is there a trailer for that? There is a trailer. There has been a trailer. There, there I is. Not, is. I never, sure. Have I you didn't. not fucking watched the trailer? At fuck all? no. I was. I was. It was bad. The last one was bad enough. J.J. Abrams is back on this one. I mean, cool, but. The, mm. Daniel, you seen the trailer, right? Yes. And what but do you think? I I I, I, I want I want to I want to hear what really you think. About yeah, it, I would I would prefer to hear what you think All about right, it. So I haven't watched the trailer. Play the trailer. Amuse me. Come on. Come on. You really don't prep for any of this shit. Oh, face off! I really didn't know there was a trailer. Really? This is no, like the fiftieth or sixtieth episode overall that we've done. <laughs> and Roland never preps. Why are you shocked? Hey. hey. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Thank well, you, uh, Daniel. I would assume that some I gave him like I gave oh, the list of the movies. Now you're being a bitter bitch. And maybe he would like watch some of the trailers. I or something. skimmed your list. All right, I told you. You skimmed your list. You skimmed my list for like two oh, minutes. Oh, you skimmed it. That's an improvement. That's right. Right. Because I knew I was gonna. I wasn't gonna care for most of it. So, <laughs> excuse me. Was I wrong? No. So yeah. All right. Let's see this. Here, here's a real phone for you. Oh, piss off. Fuck off, bitch. And it's over. Right? We've passed so, on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. Silly ass goofball monkey. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you cunt. Waiting to be amused. All right, Queen Victoria. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am not amused. <laughs> so, are they gonna kill fucking uh, Billy D. Williams in this one now? Motherfucker, who knows, dude? I mean, he's the only one that's left. You know, the movie's not out yet, right? Yeah. I mean, it says Christmas, asshole. I can fucking read. <laughs> are you sure? I'll piss off. I mean, you don't 
Oh, listen, are we sure you can read? Oh, now you're just being an... Now, 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 fuck you. Yeah, 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 being a petty cunt, that's... Absolutely. Okay, so The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, no. Are you going to check this out? You are. Let's be real. Let's be real here. I didn't see the last one in theaters. I saw the one before that with Daniel. We fucking went to go watch that, and that was nice. But the fucking whatever following was trash. So, when, when did you watch? Uh, who did you watch it with? I, the second one? Yeah. Uh nobody. Hmm. You know, I, I think I, you Netflix it, didn't you? Yeah. Daniel, yeah. I think Roland needs someone there to kind of like keep my motivation, my interest. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with any movie that's watched, like well, if so I go by myself, I just sit the there. Awakens, I just, right? Yeah, yeah, and it was. I so, liked it, dude. I like that Roland one. Roland graduated his masters, right? Oh uh, yeah. And I'm actually surprised. We were just hanging out in the evening, like getting nah, popped up, and I was dude. like, "Jesus, let's go watch Star Wars." Yeah, <laughs> and we weren't even sure where to get tickets because it was opening night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was and pretty random. We fucking got in, yeah. and like no problem, man. It was cool. It was all right. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, I didn't hate it. But each movie progressively in the new trilogy mm-hmm. is like. Mm-hmm. More and more underwhelming. Nah. And so that was the thing. So like, I really I'm... worry about The Last Jedi. Mm-hmm. It's so, Star Wars. I'm going to go fuck watch it in theaters. I'm yeah, yeah, for shit, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Fuck, it might, Are you might not be great. I mean, honestly, at this point, how much uh, time have you um, given to the Star Wars fucking All of franchise? My time. And it, you, you have to fucking <laughs> right. just, just, just fucking watch the last movie, right? All of I mean, it. Give it all. And I've I, been, mean, I mean, they're I've making a movie. Burn so badly by, by, you by have to watch Jar Jar the last movie. Sack. Huh? What? You have to watch the last movie. Like, it just. Even if you, like, hated the last one, it's an, it's which an, I didn't like the last one either. But you just have to go and watch it. I mean. Eventually. I mean, no, this one, I'll, I'll give you that. Like, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty gonna. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch this with Jamie as well. I'll get him to buy me my ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you get him, I'll go with you if you get him to buy me mine. <laughs> yeah, that'll never happen. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna that's happen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you can buy my ticket. And, mm. Like, Jamie will buy yours, and you can buy mine. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah, for Christmas. Of the properties. I'm, hope, I'm hoping for Christmas at some point. Roland, you're just gonna buy me my ticket, and I'll be like, <gasps> "Wow, <Roland? laughs> that's never gonna happen." <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't want to. Hey, are well, you gonna be like, "Here, Ray, uh, here's a Modelo, 24 ounce for you." There you go. Oh shit! Time it's to Christmas, pre-game. motherfucker. Yes. All right. So uh, we're we'll going through that list of movies that I'm. I mean. That are that was pretty comprehensive to to watch. Pretty pretty uh, covered most of our um, AYZs. I don't know if there's any movies that you all are actually gonna attempt to go watch. I, I I'm a, I'm a movie person. I I have to go watch the movies in the theaters. Mm. I kind of stopped doing that for a couple of years, but I'm kind of like getting into this whole thing again, getting back into it. Uh, because I, I mean, okay, so. I, I have I have discounted movie prices, so I'm like that's the reason I watch it. I started doing it when I got Movie Pass, but that kind of like it's not a collapse thing on itself. So. so they're fucking idiots. Three from the list that I'm more than likely to watch: uh, Godzilla, Spider Man, and Star Wars. All right. Okay. What about you, Roland? Probably the same, actually, that you meant. No, you know what? No, you know what? All right. All right. You know what? Fine. Easy out. Uh, I probably won't see Godzilla. I may see it. And uh, The Dead Don't Die. Uh, the Dead Don't Die. I will watch that in theaters the for sure. Star yes, Wars yeah, movie, I'll Dead give a chance. The, the Star Wars movie, theory. I'll give a chance because I didn't watch the last one in theaters, but it wasn't It wasn't a, a gun, right? Production? Or Abrams or whatever the fuck yeah. the person is. Uh, so that would probably be interesting. <laughs> so Guns, and, uh, Spielberg, uh, uh, yeah, right. One of those guys. Tarantino <laughs> yeah. production or something. Uh, this is a different director. Sure. I'll check it out. Uh, I, what, what about the Joker? Would anybody go watch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do want to see that just, one. Shoot for a top three. The top three, okay. I guess. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Um, well, okay then. Uh, Dead Don't Die, Joker, and uh, oh fuck! I'm 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 gonna watch Spider Man, but I don't, I doubt I'm gonna pay for it. I'm probably gonna go with family, so that doesn't count. 
Sure. Um, How much you read? So maybe the Star, Star Wars. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna go watch. Spend all my money on all these fucking movies, dude. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that, that's what I'm saying. Is that like I I have almost like committed myself to going at least two to three times a month mm. to watch a movie. And I mean, huh. as much movies as as I've seen so far this year, it's the most I've seen in the past two years. And again, since the, I get the discounted price because I have the movie club, I'm I'm usually down. And I always go uh, early in the morning when there's no one in the theater. The That's when I watch all my movies. Fuck so. everyone else, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like this year I've seen Avengers. That's those, yeah. that's all of my movie visits. The only movies I've seen are when I went to go watch with Ray because I'm not gonna fucking go see it with anyone else. Well, I just so I, I just so happen to have like uh, free Tree. credits because I I purchased uh, tickets. So, yeah. uh, and I'm just like, well, I'll, I'll take Roland with me. Fuck Yay, it, you know, know why? Because I'm a good friend. Eh, <laughs> eh. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and frankly, I'm just trying to like use Roland to like have something to talk about on the podcast. Yeah, too, so. well, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna say no. Use these my nuts. All right, nah, nah. Uh, Okay. Um, again, this was Filler Quest yep. episode number sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking ongoing series. Whenever things don't go like as planned, Filler Quest. Well, uh, at the end of the 2019, uh, if there's movies that you have watched or um, anyone who else has actually seen the movies from this year, we will be doing a top 10 of 2019. Um, uh, best rated movies. So far, I got like maybe two. I mean, if there's, if there's not something we covered in the list, please comment or like send a um, shout out or make us laugh. Uh, what is the thing we we'll do? Right, um, yeah. If uh, you're out there and you're listening, please rate and review us on iTunes, please, because uh, that's pretty much what gets us uh, noticed for most people. Sure. Or tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, tell your grandpa. Yes. Tell your grandma. All of them. Tell your aunties, tell your uncles. Yeah. Tell your little cousins who are like five years old to like download us on their little tablets that oh, they're staring at because I guarantee be you their parents are not watching them correctly. Suckers. And they are staring at a tablet as we speak. Ah, uh, right. And then they just learn like... Th- Words like fuck. <laughs> yeah, they can they can and they can learn they can learn language. Phrases like pack of bitches and mm. Chubatron five thousand. <laughs> it's an education, all right. Like, you owe it to yourselves. Uh, we will be back on schedule uh, in June. Uh, we'll be coming at you with uh, not just divulged information. It's surf ninjas. Mm. And uh, surf Nazis must die with uh, from trauma entertainment. Oh, yeah. So be oh, ready for that. Yeah. Um, uh, we do have a Patreon, uh, special episodes, unreleased episodes, on un- uh, early release episodes as well. Uh, if you want to get in on that, please go ahead. We'll be have we'll have more episodes coming your way this summer. Yeah, uh, very X rated I mean, type do, of. Uh, do we still need to celebrate the one year anniversary? We will be doing that at some point. Uh, yeah. Our one year anniversary is coming up uh, next month in July. Hooray! Woo! <clears throat> So we'll have like something for that. Uh, uh, get ready for um, Cinequest episodes with uh, uh, full penetration. Full penetration in the sense where it's like uh, Emmanuel in space. You know, oh, yeah. uh, virtual encounters too. Right. Playtime the movie. Time to hang dog. Night calls to the movie. Those are special Patreon episodes. Night calls to. Mm. Okay, but we will be talking about the actual uh, plots of the movie, not the sex, the plots, mm-hmm. like we did with Ten Inch. Mutant we're Ninja in for the acting and the story, right? Yeah. Exactly. We don't. We're not. Care we're about not preverts here. Exactly. Um, cares about boobs. Let me see. We'll speak uh, for yourself. And butts. <laughs> lots of butts in that prong. Uh, lots of bumping and grinding against like weird portions of furniture and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, unrealistic sexual positions is pretty much what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will also be back with the next Criterion movies. Uh, again, we had like a schedule mishaps, which is why you're not getting the Criterion movie this time around. No, you're getting us. You're Whoa. getting us. I'm giving you like your quality of uh, filler. Sucks to be filler you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I said, we'll be back on schedule uh, coming in back in June and July. And the rest of the year, uh, <laughs> check out our other podcast, <laughs> Fat Food for Fat People. We'll be coming up with a Fat Food, Fat Bastards episode. Mm. Uh, stay tuned for that. And Anatomy Mixtape, 
Uh, plenty more coming on, coming your way on that. Um, my name is Ray. Oh, it's Roland. And Darkwing Drunk. Forty hands. Daniel, what's Daniel, up? What's up in Washington? Um, we should have a, like a revolving round of guests coming through. We have new people coming around, participating in the podcast. <clears throat> uh, Johnny come lately's. <laughs> Um, it's time to eat some of these cupcakes. I oh, am. Yeah. All right. Oh, I brought snacks. Snackos. Uh, all right. Peace. Next time. <laughs>